Miami Heat The Miami Heat are an American professional basketball team based in Miami. The Heat compete in the National Basketball Association, NBA, as a member of the league's Eastern Conference Southeast Division. The club plays its home games at FTX Arena, and has won three NBA championships. The franchise began play in the 1988-89 season as an expansion team. After a period of mediocrity, the Heat gained relevance in the mid-1990s when Pat Riley became team president and head coach. Riley constructed the trades of Alonzo Mourning and Tim Hardaway, which propelled the team into playoff contention. Mourning and Hardaway led the Heat to four consecutive division titles prior to their departures in 2001 and 2002, respectively. The team also experienced success after drafting Dwayne Wade in 2003. Led by Wade and, following a trade for former NBA Most Valuable Player, MVP, Shaquille O'Neal, the Heat won their first NBA title in 2006, after Riley named himself head coach for a second stint. After the departure of O'Neal two years later, the team struggled for the remainder of the 2000s. Riley remained team president, but was replaced as head coach by Eric Spolstra. In 2010, the Heat signed former league MVP LeBron James and NBA All-Star Chris Bosh, creating the Big Three along with Wade. During their four years together, Spolstra, James, Wade, and Bosch led the Heat to the NBA Finals in every season, culminating in back-to-back -back championships in 2012 and 2013. All three departed by 2016, and the team entered a period of rebuilding. After acquiring All-Star Jimmy Butler in 2019, the Heat returned to the NBA Finals in 2020. The Heat acquired six-time NBA All-Star Kyle Lowry in 2021. The Heat hold the record for the NBA's third-longest winning streak, 27 straight games, set during the 2012-13 season. Six Hall of Famers have played for Miami, and James won two consecutive NBA MVP awards while playing for the team. 1987-1995, Early Years in Miami In 1987 the NBA granted one of its four new expansion teams to Miami, the others being the Orlando Magic, Charlotte Hornets, and the Minnesota Timberwolves, and the team, known as the Heat began play in November 1988. The Miami Heat began their early years with much mediocrity, only making the playoffs two times in their first eight years and falling in the first round both times. 1995-2003, Title Hopefuls Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning helped make the Heat serious contenders in the Eastern Conference in the late 1990s. Upon the purchasing of the franchise by Carnival Cruise Lines chairman Mickey Arson in 1995, Pat Riley was brought in as the team president and head coach. Riley acquired center Alonzo Mourning and point guard Tim Hardaway to serve as the centerpieces for the team, transforming Miami into a championship contender throughout the late 1990s. With them they also brought in a new team trainer, Cody Posselt, to work on shooting. The Heat underwent a dramatic turnaround in the 1996-97 season, improving to a 61-21 record, a franchise record at the time, and currently second-best in team history. That same year, Miami earned the moniker of Road Warriors for its remarkable 32-9 record on the road. On the backs of Hardaway and Mourning, the Heat achieved their first two series victories in the playoffs making it to the conference finals against the Michael Jordan-led Chicago Bulls before losing in five games. Their biggest rivals of the time were the New York Knicks, Riley's former team, who would eliminate the Heat in the playoffs from 1998 through 2000. A period of mediocrity followed after, highlighted by missing the playoffs in 2002 and 2003. 2003-2016, the Dwayne Wade era. In the 2003 NBA Draft, with a fifth overall pick, Miami selected shooting guard Dwayne Wade out of Marquette. Free agent swingman Lamar Odom was signed from the Los Angeles Clippers. Just prior to the start of the 2003-04 season, Riley stepped down as head coach to focus on rebuilding the Heat, promoting Stan Van Gundy to the position of head coach. Behind Van Gundy's leadership, Wade's stellar rookie year and Odom's breakout season, the Heat made the 2004 NBA playoffs, beating the New Orleans Hornets 4-3 in the first round and losing to the Indiana Pacers 4-2 in the second round. In the offseason, Riley engineered a summer blockbuster trade for Shaquille O'Neal from the Los Angeles Lakers. Alonzo Mourning returned to the Heat in the same season, serving as a backup to O'Neal. 
Returning as championship contenders, Miami finished with a 59-23 record, consequently garnering the first overall seed in the Eastern Conference. Sweeping through the first round and the semifinals, Miami went back to the conference finals for the first time in eight years, where it met the defending champion Detroit Pistons. Despite taking a 3-2 lead, Miami lost Wade to injury for Game 6. The Heat would go on to lose Game 7 at home despite Wade's return. 2005-2006, Championship Season Shaquille O'Neal and Dwayne Wade brought the Heat their first NBA championship in 2006. In the summer of 2005, Riley brought in veteran free agent Gary Payton from the Boston Celtics, and also brought in James Posey, Jason Williams and Antoine Walker via trades. After a disappointing 11-10 start to the 2005-06 season, Riley relieved Van Gundy of his duties and took back the head coaching job. The Heat made it to the conference finals in 2006 and in a rematch, defeated the Pistons, winning the series 4-2. Making its first NBA Finals appearance, they played the Dallas Mavericks, who won the first two games in Dallas in routes. The Heat then won the next four games, capturing its first-ever championship. Wade won the Finals MVP award. 2006-2010 post-championship struggles. The Heat experienced four years of post-title struggles from 2007 through 2010, including a 4-0 sweep by the Chicago Bulls in the first round of the 2007 NBA playoffs. In the 2007-08 season, Wade was plagued by injuries and the Heat had a league-worst 15-67 record. O'Neal was traded to Phoenix midway through the season. Riley resigned as head coach following the season but retained his position as team president. Longtime assistant Eric Spolstra was promoted to head coach. A healthy wave led the Heat to 43 wins in 2009 and 47 wins in 2010, making the playoffs both seasons, though they lost in the first round, 4-3 in 2009 and 4-1 in 2010. Wade was the scoring champion in 2009 and the NBA All-Star MVP in 2010. 2010-2014, The Big Three Era The Big Three of LeBron James, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh lead the Heat to four consecutive finals appearances and two NBA championships. Entering the 2010-11 season with nearly $48 million in salary cap space, the Heat caused a major power shift during the blockbuster 2010 free agency, adding Chris Bosh and LeBron James, starting the Big Three era. However, the Heat got off to a 9-8 start. After a players-only meeting, the team improved. The Heat finished with a 58-24 record and the second seed. In the much-anticipated 2011 NBA playoffs, Miami defeated the Philadelphia 76ers in the first round, Boston Celtics in the conference semifinals, and Bulls in the conference finals, all in five games. The Heat reached the 2011 NBA Finals for the first time since 2006, in a rematch against the Dallas Mavericks. After taking a 2-1 series lead, the Heat lost the final three games to the Mavericks. After the second NBA lockout ended, the Heat signed veteran Shane Battier. In the shortened 2011-12 season, the Heat started 27-7. However they would struggle for the second half of the season, going 19-13. The Heat finished 46-20, earning the second seed in the East for the NBA playoffs. Entering the first round, they took a 3-0 lead against the New York Knicks but like their previous series with the Sixers, were not able to close them out in Game 4. A victory in Game 5 ultimately defeated New York and the Heat advanced to the second round versus the Indiana Pacers. After losing Game 2 at home and Game 3 at Indiana, many criticized Dwayne Wade's lackluster performance in Game 3, bringing attention to the fact that he got into a verbal argument with Spolstra. However, with Wade visiting his former college coach, the team defeated the Pacers in the next three games, to close out the Pacers. They met the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals, taking the first two games before losing the next three, including one home loss where Bosch returned from injury. On June 7 they won on the road at Boston beating the Celtics 98-79 to tie the series 3-3, James had 45 points and 15 rebounds. The deciding Game 7 was at Miami. The Celtics largely dominated during the first half. The second half saw several lead changes. The Heat eventually won 101-88, reaching the NBA Finals for the second straight year. In the much-anticipated matchup with the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Heat split the first two games, 
winning Game 2 on the road, before sweeping the next three at home. James was named the Finals MVP as he won his first NBA championship. On July 11, 2012, the Heat officially signed veterans Ray Allen to a three-year contract and Richard Lewis to a two-year contract. The Heat would go on a 27-game winning streak between February 3, 2013, and March 27, 2013 defeating Orlando in the season finale set the franchise record for 66 wins in a season. By the end of the season, the Heat won 18 of its 19 road games, the best streak on the road to end a season in NBA history. The Heat went 17-1 in March, becoming the first team to win 17 games in a single calendar month. The Heat ended with a franchise-best and league-best 66-16 record to take the first seed in the 2013 NBA playoffs. They swept the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round and defeated Chicago in five games before winning against the Indiana Pacers in Game 7. Miami became the first Eastern Conference team to reach the NBA Finals in three straight years since the Chicago Bulls in the late 1990s. Miami lost Game 1 of the Finals on their home floor in a close game that was decided by a last-minute buzzer beater by Tony Parker. The Heat went on to win Game 2 with a 33-5 run in the second half. The two teams continued to trade wins leading up to Game 6 where the Spurs, up 10 heading in the fourth quarter, were in position to close out the series and win the championship. James went on to score 16 points in the period, outscoring the entire Spurs team by himself at one point. The Heat went on to defeat the Spurs 95-88 in Game 7 behind a 37-point and 12 rebounds performance from James and a 23-point and 10-rebound effort from Wade. Shane Battier also scored 18 points behind 6-8 shooting from 3, after having a shooting slump during the postseason up to that point. The Heat captured the NBA title for a second year in a row, becoming the first team in the Eastern Conference to repeat as league champions since the late 1990 Chicago Bulls. James was named the NBA Finals MVP, becoming the fifth player to win the award back-to-back -back along with Michael Jordan, Bill Russell, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, and Hakeem Olajuwon and only the second player in NBA history to win the Finals MVP and League MVP back-to-back -back along with Jordan. Miami struggled throughout the 2013-14 season with extended absences of Dwayne Wade, who only played 54 games to injury and ended on an 11-14 record entering the playoffs. They entered the playoffs as the Eastern Conference second seed with a record of 54-28 team, and with the Big Three healthy. They went 12-3 in the first three rounds. They swept the Charlotte Bobcats. They then beat the Brooklyn Nets 4-1. They went on to play the first seeded 56-26 Pacers in the Conference Finals, in a rematch of the previous year's Conference Finals. The Pacers were eliminated from the playoffs for a third consecutive year by the Heat. The Heat went to a fourth consecutive Finals, and faced the Spurs again. The first two games in San Antonio were split but the Heat fell to the Spurs 4-1, failing to repeat as champions for the third consecutive season. 2014-2016 post Big 3 and rebuild. On July 11, 2014, LeBron James announced on SI.com that after opting out of the final year of his contract, he would leave the Heat and return to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Wade and Bosch stayed in Miami. Like the Cavaliers in the 2010 offseason, the Heat focused on how it would maintain itself without LeBron. Wade and Bosch were joined by returning players Mario Chalmers, Norris Cole, Udonis Haslam and Chris Anderson along with former rivals Luol Ding and Danny Granger. The Heat also drafted Shabazz Napier and James Innes. In 2015, they also gained Joran Dragic and his younger brother Zoran Dragic. After a season with several injuries, including to Chris Bosh and Josh McRoberts, the Heat finished with a 37-45 record, the NBA's 10th worst. They failed to make the playoffs after being Eastern Conference champions four straight years. It was the second time in Wade's career they did not qualify for the postseason. The Heat were the first team since the 2004-05 Los Angeles Lakers to miss the playoffs after going to the NBA Finals the previous year. Miami had qualified for the playoffs for six consecutive seasons. At the 2015 NBA Draft Lottery, the Heat were awarded the 10th pick for the 2015 NBA Draft, which was used to select Duke forward Justice Winslow. During the 2015-16 season, the Heat compiled a 48-34 regular season record, however, their season ended in the conference semifinals where they lost to the Toronto Raptors. 
the 2016 free agency was marked with relationship issues and disagreements between Dwayne Wade and Heat President Pat Riley, mostly focusing on how much Wade would get paid. 2016-2019, Departure and Return of Wade On July 6, 2016, Wade announced that he was leaving the Heat to go join his hometown Chicago Bulls. In September 2016, Bosch failed his physical exam with the Heat and was not cleared by the team to participate in training camp. On September 26, 2016, Heat President Riley said he viewed Bosch's career with the team as over, noting that the team was no longer working toward his return. On July 4, 2017, the Heat waived Bosch a month after an NBA ruling declared his blood clotting issues a career-ending illness. Riley immediately announced that Bosch's number would be retired in the future out of respect to him and his accomplishments with the Heat. With nearly all remnants of the Big Three era gone in just two seasons, Miami went 41-41 and missed the playoffs by virtue of a tiebreaker with the Chicago Bulls. On February 8, 2018, the Cleveland Cavaliers traded Dwayne Wade back to Miami. Wade willed the Heat to a Game 2 win against the Philadelphia 76ers in the first round of the 2018 playoffs, but the team would lose the series in five games. Wade retired after one last season with the Heat in 2018-19. Bosch and Wade's jerseys were retired in March 2019 and February 2020, respectively. 2019 Present, The Jimmy Butler Era In 2019-20, Miami acquired All-Star Jimmy Butler, Andre Iguodala, and Jay Crowder, and drafted Kentucky shooting guard Tyler Harrow. Following the suspension of the 2019-20 season due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Heat were one of 22 teams invited to participate in the NBA bubble completing the season behind closed doors in Orlando from July to October 2020. The fifth-seeded Heat went 12-3 in the bubble playoffs to win the franchise's sixth conference championship in 15 seasons. They would meet LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers in the NBA Finals, losing in six games. After a historically short 72-day offseason, the Heat struggled to find consistency in the 2020-21 season, finishing as the sixth seed. They were swept in a first-round rematch with the eventual champion Milwaukee Bucks. The 2021 offseason saw the departures of Dragic and Iguodala, along with the acquisition of veteran Kyle Lowry and P.J. Tucker. 1988-1999 Uniforms Unveiled prior to the 1988-89 season, the original Miami Heat uniforms consist of simple striping, exclusive only on the right side of the jersey and shorts. The home uniforms were white with lettering in red, black and orange trim, while the away uniforms were black with red, white and orange trim, the numbers were white with red, black and orange trim, using the same font as the classic Los Angeles Lakers jerseys. The original flaming ball logo is on the left leg of the shorts while the word Miami is on the right leg. In the 1995-96 season the Heat introduced a red alternate uniform with lettering and numbers in black, white and orange trim. The original set lasted until the 1998-99 season. The original white and red uniforms were reintroduced as throwback uniforms during the Heat's 20th and 25th anniversary seasons, respectively, while the original black uniforms were used as throwbacks in the 2013-14 season. The classic white uniforms were used again for the 2015-16 season. As part of Nike's uniform contract with the NBA, the so-called classic edition was introduced and featured modernized throwback uniform designs from past years. During the 2017-18 season, the Heat were one of eight teams who participated in this line and wore their black 1988-99 uniforms, updated to the current Nike uniform cut. 1,999 present uniforms The current Heat uniforms have been in use since the 1999-2000 season. These uniforms, though similar, have marked differences such as striping on both sides, change from orange to yellow trim, updated lettering and block numbers, and a modified flaming ball logo on the right leg. The black away uniform numbers are now consistent with the lettering colors, white with red trim. The alternate red uniform was introduced during the 2001-02 season, and features the city name and numbers in white with black trim. With subtle changes like the Miami word mark on the black uniforms and the addition of the MH alternate logo on the shorts, these uniforms remain in use with the Heat today. Following the switch to Nike as the uniform provider in the 2017-18 season, the Heat's current uniforms now fall under three categories. 
the white uniforms are part of the association line, the black uniforms are on the icon line and the red uniforms are assigned to the statement line. All three uniforms are now used regardless of home or away games. Special Uniforms Since the 2007-08 season, the Heat participated in the NBA's Noche Latina promotions, or Latin Nights. From 2008 to 2014, the Heat wore a modified version of their black uniforms, featuring the word Mark L. Heat, a sleeved version was used in 2014. For the 2014-15 season, the Heat wore their white uniforms with the L. Heat wordmark, followed by the Noche Latina version of their red alternates in the 2015-16 season. The Heat wore a variation of their current home uniforms on the opening night of the 2012-13 season, with gold accents and a patch of the Larry O'Brien Championship trophy on the right chest. They used another variation on opening night of the 2013-14 season, this time with gold lettering. During the 2013-14 season, the Heat wore a variation of their current home uniforms, but with the players' names at the back replaced by their nicknames, for example King James for LeBron James. They wore the uniforms for select home games that season. From 2012 to 2014, the Heat wore special monochrome uniforms, an all-black ensemble in the 2011-12 season, an all-white version in the 2012-13 season, and an all-red attire in the 2013-14 season. In 2015, a variation of their all-black uniforms, featuring drop shadows, centered numbers and heavy striping inspired from a tuxedo, was used, followed by a similarly designed white uniform in the 2016-17 season. The 2015-16 season saw the unveiling of two special uniforms. One featured a blend of modern and classic styles, Heat Legacy, while the other is a military-inspired uniform, Home Strong. The Heat also participated in the Christmas Day games wearing special uniforms. In 2012, they wore monochrome red uniforms known as Big Color. The following year, they wore their big logo sleeved uniforms, featuring a chrome-treated version of their Flaming Ball logo. In 2014, the Heat wore a variation of their home uniform, featuring their primary logo and centered numbers in front, and black nameplates with the player's first name below the number at the back. The Heat have also honored the ABA's Miami Floridians by donning throwback uniforms, first the road jerseys in the 2005-06 season, then the home jerseys in the 2011-12 season. In the 2017-18 season, the Heat wore special city uniforms, named as such by Nike to commemorate local cultures and team traditions, that paid homage to the hit 1980s TV series Miami Vice. The uniforms were white with pink, light blue and black trim and featured the Miami wordmark inspired from the logo of the Miami Arena. For the 2018-19 season, the Heat released black versions of the Miami Vice uniforms. In addition, a pink version of the uniform was unveiled as part of Nike's earned series which were exclusive only to the 16 teams that qualified in the 2018 NBA playoffs. A light blue version of the uniforms was used in the 2019-20 season. The Vice theme continued with the 2020-21 city uniform, this time featuring a pink and blue gradient and black letters. In the 2021-22 season, the Heat wore special city uniforms that mixed various uniform styles used by the team. The black-based uniform featured a mix of lettering taken from the Heat's previous and current uniform sets, including the throwback Floridians and Miami Vice City set. Players were allowed to choose their own number styles. Miami's 2021 earned uniform, rewarded after making the 2020 NBA playoffs, marked the first time the team used yellow as a base color, previously it was only utilized as an accent color on the logo and uniform.